even as coronavirus is hitting the floor of the New York Stock Exchange as well, mm -hmm. the NYC has announced that all trades will be done electronically as of the open of trading on Monday, when the trading floor will officially be closed. Joining me right now on the telephone is the former chairman of the New York Stock Exchange, led the exchange over decades of growth. Dick Grasso is with us uh, this morning. And Dick, thanks very much for calling in this morning. I want to get your take on how big a deal is this for the trading floor. But first, let me ask you about what we're seeing in terms of the behavior of people. You were running the exchange during 9-11. I was with you on 9-11, and I know how tough it was to open the, the market after the September 11th uh, attacks. And I remember standing there on the floor on September 17th. It was a very moving day when you had all of the first responders, the governor, the senators, the Congress uh, for New York ringing the opening bell. And, of course, the firefighters rang the opening bell with you. And then we have even some pictures of this. After you rang the bell, I was on the floor of the New York Damn. Stock Exchange, and I interviewed everybody who had just rung the bell. Uh, and we were trying to figure out how people's behavior would change. When do you expect people will start to get back to normal and will sort of understand that this is a new normal, but we need to get back to uh, our regular life to fight back? Maria, you're so right. It's good to be with you. Remember, as quickly as this economy has shut down, it can start right back up. And if you read that J.P. Morgan estimate on the 14 percent 2Q contraction in GDP, remember, at the back end of this year, they're talking about a V-based recovery. Our economy is consumer-driven. If the government's package gets plenty of money into the hands of individuals who needs it, into the hands of business who employ those people, we're going to see, as the president said, a snapback. And if people pay attention to what the Treasury Secretary said two days ago, we want to give people access to their money at the same time we want to protect people. What the, what the NYSE has done, they're protecting people, they're giving them access to their money by going electronic. I applaud their actions. Yeah, I know. But, Dick, this is one of those moments in time where when you make a move like this, it may very well change the way we live and change the way we work forever. So does this is this the kind of move that basically will push the exchange to basically not open the floor anymore? I mean, if you can do this electronically uh, w with the same results, why have the floor in the first place? Well, I think you heard Stacey Cunningham indicate that while we're going fully electronic, there are certain types of orders that brokers who are on the floor can enter and can use to serve investors that may not be fully available. So this is a good stopgap. I think people will evaluate the process, but I would not at all be surprised to see once the virus has been defeated, and it will be, that we resume floor-based trading. You know, I feel like, I feel like after 9-11, Dick, we all were in it together as a nation. We were attacked, and I feel like the country wanted to rise from the ashes together. And, and fight back to show the terrorists that they were not going to change our lives. They were not going. We were down. We were in mourning. But we would not be out. Today, it's a little different because there's such vitriol and such difference of opinions because of politics. Do you see similarities and differences to the situations we find ourselves in today? But I, I absolutely am thrilled that this president has brought together the public and private sector He's basically reiterated this is not a partisan issue. This is an American issue. And that was the case after 9-11. Our enemy today is not al-Qaeda or, or someone carrying an AK-47. Our enemy is a, a virus. We have the best scientists in the world, the best medical facilities in the world. We will defeat it. There is a morning coming, and it will be a bright one. America will rise as it always has. I love to hear you say that, Dick Grasso. Thank you so much. Thanks for calling in, Dick. Please don't be a stranger. Great Thanks to be very with much. You, Maria.